Welcome, welcome. This is Channeling Korea. And today is May the 9th, 2021. And before I um, go any further, today is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the, the people that are celebrating the spirit of motherhood. So let's all begin by just joining in together for a short meditation and then the channeling should begin. So let's take a deep breath in and let it all go. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. Breathing in as slowly as you can and then let it all out. Use your breath to be the tool to start to allow yourself not just physically, but mentally as well, to let go and become more relaxed, to start to quiet your mind and relax your body. And as you start to feel more relaxed in your body and your mind quieting down Then shift your focus into your heart. Just put your attention on your heart. And as you put your focus in your heart, also start to allow your heart to open up by choosing to feel unconditional love. Unconditional love for yourself. Unconditional love for the environment. Unconditional love for whatever situation that you find yourself in. To do your best to see the beauty and the love within everything, within yourself. And within your life as well. Choose unconditional love. Have no requirements or judgment on whatever it is that is showing up. Simply choose to feel unconditional love. for whatever shows up. When you start to see and choose unconditional love, 
no matter what shows up. You start to tap into the infinite wisdom that is within yourself. Your life is a choice, a set of choices, no matter where you are, you can always choose, no matter what you see, no matter what shows up, no matter how easy or how complicated life may get. It is not what shows up. It is how you deal with what shows up. When you really start to understand that no matter what shows up, if you choose, if you always choose to see the love, in the situation, the potential to learn more about yourself, to learn more about the mystery that is you. To demonstrate and allow yourself to take up the role of truly being the creator of your own life. Life would start to show up differently for you. At any one time, at any moment, there are always many, many things that is competing for your attention. Observe what it is that you pay attention to. Are you paying attention to the things that upset you? Or are you paying attention to the things that are going well for you? There are some people whose life is really, shall we say, charmed. Everything seems to be going well. And yet, they always manage to focus on the one thing that they wish that were different.
who would you think that this person that is living the charmed life would you think that they are a lucky person? If you talk to this lucky person and ask them how their life is going, and their answer may surprise you. Because from a different person's point of view, their life seems to be going so well. However, according to them, Their life is not going so well because they are so accustomed to everything going their way that when one thing is out of place, it actually disturbs them and upsets them more than you may think it can possibly upset them. It is all in the focus. What are they focusing on? Why do we focus on the things that we focus on? Sometimes that may be a good question to ask. We focus on the things that has a hook for us. It may be that everything is going so well. But this one thing seems to be just a little bit out of place. Sometimes when there are so many things that are out of place, that are horribly out of place, and we don't notice it because we've been living with the same amount of chaos for a long time. And then all of a sudden, something else that is completely new comes along. It may not be out of place. There may be nothing wrong with it. But just because it is something that has never happened before, And it throws us out of our game. It makes us look at this something that is new. Even though there are at least five or six other things that are really 
out of balance in our life. But because we have lived and we have become so out of balance ourselves that we didn't notice them. Except this, this one thing that is new and it showed up and it completely knocks us out of our game. Not because this new thing is so horribly, horribly wrong, but just because that is, this new thing is the last straw. The last straw that is needed to completely throw us off our game and we cannot take it anymore. Not because we cannot take this new item but because we cannot take this new item on top of the other five or maybe six other aspects of our life that is so much out of integrity of what is normal for us to be able to cope with. All of our lives, we've been carrying these five big luggage around with us. But they have been luggage has been passed down to us that we see everyone else also are carrying around with them. And so we thought that that is normal. That must be normal. I have five pieces of luggage, but everyone else has five. Some even have more. We didn't know any better. Even though these five luggage that we have all been dragging around with us has been really not easy for us to handle. And it made life more than interesting. And so we thought that it must be normal must be normal for people to be dragging along these permanent pieces of luggage. Even when we are not going anywhere, we seem to have all these extra packages that we are trying to haul around with us. Sometimes these luggages have caused us pain in our body. At first, 
when we were young and strong, it didn't seem to matter so much. But after we've been carrying along these five extra pieces of luggage around with us for 30, 40, 50, sometimes 60 years around with us, at some point, our body starts to remind us starts to talk to us and let us know and maybe even suggest maybe it is time to really double check, do we still have to carry around all these five pieces of luggage with us? Maybe it's time to leave some behind Let go of them, if not all of them, at least two or three, at least half, it would be good. But because we have been carrying around all these luggage, we have forgotten how to let go. We may even have good reasons to hang on to them. This piece of luggage was passed down to me by my beloved mother. I cannot possibly let go of it. It would be sacrilegious. It would be like not loving my mother. not honoring my mother or whomever it is that you have inherited these pieces of extra luggage. We are of course speaking very metaphorically. It may take time for you to get used to letting things go.
but don't worry. Just know that you're co-creating, perhaps very unconsciously, but you are nonetheless co-creating all the circumstances, all the opportunities for you to let go. That is why more luggage is showing up. It is not a punishment. It truly is not a punishment at all. It is simply the universe co-creating with you unconsciously. The universe is going to deliver more. More luggage for you to hang on to. Because the universe really want to show you that just because these extra packages are showing up, it does not mean that you have to carry them with you. In fact, it is trying to show you that maybe it is time to let go of all the other luggage as well. So much so that when you totally let go of all of those luggage, package, baggage, you'll be able to feel like a new person. you actually be able to feel what it feels like to simply be able to move along your life without having to pull any of these luggage around with you you experience a freedom that you have never known before. But before you get there, you may experience some reluctance. You may even try to hang on to as many of them as possible for as long as you can.
And that is okay. We know, spirit knows, Spirit knows that is not easy. It is really not. Comfortable. To let go of things, especially baggage that has sentimental value. Human beings are so loving. They somehow has convinced themselves that to love means to hang on to to hang on to bits and pieces of reminder from loved ones Sometimes it is, may not be from loved ones. It may be from people that does not have good intentions. From past experience that have left us less than whole. But we still insist on hanging on to them. Spirit knows it's not easy. That is why spirit, your spirit is co-creating with the universe. to give you more and more. Luggage to hang on to. Since we know how much you love them. At some point, at some point, spirit hope that you will start to realize something.
that freedom and love can exist together. You can love someone and still have no need to carry their luggage around with you. that perhaps it is wiser to be able to love. without any baggage. Without needing to carry around all the reminders, the luggage, the package, the baggages, that those are all optional. That maybe it is much more loving to yourself. There is so much more that we need to learn. About how to love. How to keep ourselves balanced in such a way that We can love and still be ourselves. That we can love without carrying other people's luggage with us, that we can love without needing someone else to subscribe to our own baggage. Perhaps we'll be able to get to one 
one day. that we can simply love and accept ourselves and each other. Without the need to exchange or share our baggage. And one day we will be able to tune in we'll be able to tune in to our heart and be able to feel a love that is free, that has no requirements, that is constantly being broadcasted constantly being felt constantly connecting that is pure a love that does not have other feelings being mixed in a love that and does not seek to control and does not need to be confirmed
a love that does not have any worrying. A love that is pure. A love that has no condition, no undertones. That has no agenda. that does not need you to agree with them. It does not need you to believe in anything. that kind of love. Gives you freedom to be. It does not need for you to carry anyone around or any luggage around. It's a different experience. It's a different caliber of love. One day we will get there. for now, feel it, for now simply allow yourself to feel it from spirit. One day, you will be able to feel this way with everyone you meet. For now, feel it from us as our gift to you.
Thank you for joining us this evening and allowing us to be with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>